So for me, that's mm. one girl group and three R&B dudes. Why, if you can include Sonny and Esme. Mm. And same for you, right? One girl group and yeah. three, three R&B three R&B singers. So what is the last one? So man? the last one is Does actually, it buck the trend? It does not buck the trend. Yeah. Um, it is by another R&B singer. Ooh, um, another one. But this one, I, I really think that you won't guess. Um, because this song How many other uh, is very personal to my heart. Because I feel, I feel I relate to this song very, very well. And maybe that's why I, I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a G soul. But where do we go from here? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. The hair himself. Yeah, Mr. Hair himself. Um, G soul, definitely not on my list. Yeah, I knew it. But I, see, I, I, really I fully know understand. I fully understand why you. This one, this one's the not R and B one, right? This one's the ballad one, right? Uh, there's one that sounds kind of reggae-y. This one is not that one. Yeah, not the reggae one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. The ba the ballad -y one yeah. with the split screen and yeah. the, okay. Okay. I, I I think this one is the better one of mm. those two. Um. So why'd you why'd you pick this one? Um. It makes me sad. Mm. Like it makes like songs that make you happy. You like. I sometimes like songs that make me sad. And this song makes me very sad. And it's like the song that when you're lonely at night, just kind of laying in your bed, and you listen to this song on repeat, and you're just like, ah, sad. And, you know, sometimes I, I like to feel sad. And sometimes I'm happy to feel sad. And this song uh, does a good job of doing that. I I don't listen to sad songs too often, but I do have like my. I've said it on the podcast before. Like in high school, I was I was kind of sad, so I listen a lot of like sad, angry teen, teen songs, songs. You yeah. know, like my one of my favorite songs still to this day is uh, "Huba Stanks the Reason." Reason. And that song makes me so sad. Every time I hear that song, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, but, so I I can understand that. I think I've just, as you know, I. Why won't be sad, man? Why won't be sad? You'd be happy. Be hangy. Sometimes you need to be blue. Like an airplane, man. Blue, da, blue, dee, da. All right, well, speaking of blue. Oh. Okay. My last song oh. is the complete opposite. Um, Do you know what I'm talking about? If the opposite of being blue and being sad, Josh? It's being happy. It is being happy. And what do you say when you want somebody to be happy, Josh? Cheer up. Yes, sir. So my last song is by another girl group. They're the Twicicles. Yeah. The Twiggle Bitty. I don't know where I'm going with stop that. that. Just Twice stop it. With their song, Chore Up. thing with this song okay so i made i made that video yes the video that ruined our youtube channel yeah and making that video i listened to cheer up one probably billion times. a billion times one billion times yes so many times mm. and so since then i do not listen to this song anymore mm -hmm. i do not because when i hear that song not only does it remind me of the sadness of of, of that video but i just heard that song now right mm -hmm. but the thing is though I had to put it on my top five because I did listen to that song so much. I did enjoy that song a lot. Mm. Um, 
I don't enjoy it as much right now in this moment, mm. but the amount, right? Like in the six months of this year, the amount of enjoyment I've gotten from that song, like it just had to be a part of my list. Mm. Um, you see, for me, uh, this actually, so I had made a mistake, right? I had put too many asterisks. So when I looked at my phone, this was kind of like one of the remaining songs. Mm-hmm. And I was gonna, I was thinking, twice cheer up or this G-Soul song. And twice cheer up, uh, I do find a lot of enjoyment from it. Mm-hmm. Like it's, I, I watch a lot of kind of uh, Korean variety shows, mm-hmm. and twice is on a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And every time this mention this song, it it brings, it makes me happy. So mm-hmm. when I hear this song, it kind of you know links with those kind of happy like laughing times that I have watching the variety. But uh, for me, I just couldn't shake the fact that like Ua is so much better. Mm. And like, if we hadn't made that biggest disappointments list, even though I like this song so much, it would definitely have been on that list. Really? Yeah. Well, because when we first listened but to it, we were we, very we, disappointed. We were, but like... I mean, over if over we were, if we're talking about most disappointed at the point of impact, then okay, yeah, yeah. But like, if we're talking about most I mean. disappointed in general. Like, I still feel like there are uh, yeah. there are so many okay. other songs. Fair like, enough. I'm talking about. I mean, well, when I first initially heard your your kind of like uh, most, most disappointing songs, like most of the songs that I were that I was disappointed with initially, they kind of have grown on me. So mm-hmm. I don't really have that many strong songs Dream except girl. for one. I mean, I mean, I also I think also though for you, like Sistar song, like I like that song more than you did. Yeah, but that song is um, growing on me. That song is yeah. growing on me. Although oh. to be fair, we we haven't been super high high on. I don't know, we yeah. just listened to Goo Goo Don. Yeah, we just listened to Sona Moo. We just listened. But both of those, see, but both of those groups, right, I weren't, weren't super high. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like, I I know, like, I know that song, right? Mm. Like, I. I out. enjoy that song. Like when I see it on variety shows, I, when the kids dance to it, mm-hmm. it's uh, awesome. Because like while I while Chief Friends Rough was like the actually the number one selling song uh, this, year. this year so yeah. far, like we always say this, like when, when it's a truly popular song in Korea, yeah, it, everybody it knows, knows about song, it, right? Yeah. Like uh, like girls will always know a lot more K-pop songs, but when the guys know the song. You know you've you've made it. Yeah. When old people, old people know, know the, the song, song, you know you've made it. Yeah, G Friends Rough is definitely up there yeah. on my list. G Friends Rough is a good song, but it's it was just never yeah, I would I never considered it yeah. a thing. It, um, for, for me, yeah, for me it definitely grew over time, but I'm not top five in it. Mm-hmm. It might be a you know, bottom feeder on the top ten list. We'll see. We don't know. We'll see.